Welcome to Beauty at Any Age 7. My name is Priscilla and you're probably wondering where have I been. I know I took a two-week vacation after departing ways from a company that I love so much after 24 years of employment. So this is a new chapter in my life and so I'm going to be starting my videos on a regular basis and I just want to thank you all for hanging in there with me and being patient while I produced a video. So this is the look that I'll be going with today so if it's a look you're interested in please continue watching. Well, welcome back and now let's get started. I have not yet moisturized my face, so I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna be using the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. My favorite, this is what I use really in the daytime. And then I always like to add some oil drops and I use the Farsali Rose Gold Drops. Those two combined are amazing. So you all are probably wondering, where have I been? I actually, was on vacation. I took two weeks off after about almost a nearly 24 year career with my former employer. And I thought, let me take some time off. And that's what I've done. But now I'm getting rehired to do something different with the company. And so that means that I had just a few weeks to enjoy some time to myself. And now I am back and running, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, now that my eyebrows are done, we can begin with eyes. And I am going to prime my eyes first with what my favorite primer is, the Tarte Shape Tape in Light. So it's the same routine as normal. Just, you know, it's so funny now that I don't, now that I'm not working, I don't have to get up early in the morning and I'm still getting up at six in the morning. Like I really want to just sleep in, but I just can't. So I'm getting up, which is probably good because I have a lot of things I got to get done, like sell my house. I have about four weeks to relocate back to California. And so that is going to take some time. So now I'm going to set this with the airspun loose face powder and I am using the Real Techniques brush to set that with. Now that we have the powder set, we're going to go in with our eyeshadow look and for today's look I'm going to be using the Dominique Latte palette. It's actually very, very pretty. The colors are super gorgeous. I'm loving, loving everything in this palette. I'm using this a lot now. It's really good to travel with. So let's go ahead and start with our transition color. And I'm going to begin my transition color, first of all, with this color right here. And you've seen the routine before. Just want to do a really nice transition color here. And ensure that any other colors that you put on top of that will transition nicely with this one. So now that we have our transition shade in, I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is just going to be to darken up the eye a little bit more. And I am using a MAC 266 brush. And with that same brush, I'm going to go in with this darker color right here. Just put it right in the corner of the eye and bring it over in here. So now that we have that color applied, I'm going to go in with the lid color and I'm actually going to use my fingers to apply the lid color. I'm going to use this really pretty champagne color right here. It's super pretty. I've tried it before on another makeup look that I had and it just comes out so incredibly bright and shiny. 
And taking that same lid color that I had here, I'm gonna use that for my brow bone color as well. And I'm just taking the Morphe G4 brush, just a small brush that can get right into this brow bone area here. So now that our eyes are done and I've added a little bit of mascara, I'm now gonna go in with my eyelashes and I am using the Ardell 113 lashes. I have a tutorial on this as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes now. So let's now move to the foundation. But before I put foundation on, I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Mist. We call it a mist, but as you know, it's like my favorite face primer to use. And for foundation, I'm gonna go in today with the Born This Way foundation in the color Warm Beige. And now we're gonna blend it with a beauty blender. Now we're gonna go in with the under eye concealer and I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And for the same powder that I use to set my eye concealer, I'm gonna use that powder to set the under eye concealer. Okay, so let's get started with the contouring part of the video. Now, as you normally know, I like to use the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in the number 806, but because I've tanned over the last two weeks, that color doesn't quite match me right now. So I'm actually gonna be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit in the color medium, and I will be using this color right there. I mean, as you know, we change sometimes our color in the summer times, so I had to kind of make sure I had the right color for that. So, you know the routine, I'm just gonna add color now. And now I'm gonna go in and blend that in with the Real Techniques Strobe and Contour Brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush. It is the Wet n Wild Apricot Me blush in this gorgeous color. Love it. You all know that is like one of my favorite blushes to use. Now for a highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the So Hollywood Illuminator. This is actually such a gorgeous color. Love this color. Now for the under eye, I'm gonna go back in with our palette and I'm gonna actually use this color right here. And for the inner corner eye highlight, I'm actually gonna use the same color that I used on my lid to highlight the inner corner. Now for the lip color, I'm gonna go in with my absolutely favorite liner. It is the ColourPop I Love Sada E color. Super nice nude color. And now for the lip color, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. It's actually a really nice little nude color. Super, super gorgeous. Now I'm gonna to top off this lip color with a glass Marc Jacobs Pretty Little Thing. It's a pretty color actually too. And now to set the entire makeup look, I'll be using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. So 
So this is the final makeup look. I really am enjoying that Dominique palette, the Latte palette. It's super gorgeous. You have to go get one of those palettes. You're gonna really enjoy it. There's so many looks that you can do with it. I actually have a concept that I wanna start doing. Somebody mentioned it to me and I thought it was a great idea and that is to create more looks using the same palette, like maybe having a series on various palettes that I have and various makeup looks that you can do. Because not everybody can just go out and buy a new makeup palette every time um, they see a video. But if I do a makeup look using, if I do a variety of makeup looks using the same palette, then that might be a benefit to you all. So that's something that I plan on doing. So please continue watching for that. And thank you so much for your patience. When I took a two week hiatus, I promise that I will be back and running and producing more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.